Thank you, Jeff. Big six, Nick. When the Vista Pal Boxing Club moved out of their old location, they weren't sure if they'd be able to keep the gym alive but they found a new location on Fairview Avenue. Kind of a shock, even for the kids that were able to come in last night and see it for the first time. Um, they were like, wow. The new location looks great now, but it took the community to turn it into a boxing gym. A uh, wide range of officers that are just all about, we got to save this gym. The Powell of Vista Pal stands for Police Activities League and Boise Police Officer Tim Bodine, who also runs TBL Construction, provided commercial grade equipment. To paint, to grind the floor down, to epoxy it. Friend of uh, a connection of his, Joe Moe with Electric, come in and updated all the electric for us. And then just various police officers, Brian Holland, Cody Evans. At one point when we were turning up the floor, they brought a youth group with, actually I think it was police officers and bringing some of their kids. Home Depot donated the paint. Sherwin-Williams provided some epoxy. Majestic Flooring donated the plastic and ARC provided logos as so much work went into transforming this space into a gym. Yeah, it was labor intensive. When we spoke with Zachary Lopez a couple months ago, he feared costs from a new lease would transfer to the kids and the price per month will go from 10 to $25 in order to keep the gym running. We are actively searching for other sponsors or assistants so we can not have to pass that to the kids. But uh, as it is right now, it's going to it's going to jump $15 a month for each kid. Steve Dent, Idaho News 6.